The most complex parts of a Chinese wooden structure are the corbels. They are also the simplest parts. The Chinese corbel consists of a part called a dou and a part called a gong. The Qing Dynasty construction manual lists more than 30 combinations of these two elements. A traditional Chinese building grows like a big tree, spreading its crown as more and more corbels are added. When the walls of a traditional wooden building are removed, the building remains standing. The corbels broaden the weight-bearing area of the horizontal beams, transferring the weight of the roof down to the pillars. During the Qing Dynasty, beams were designed to carry more weight. This allowed for smaller, more decorative corbels on a building. Their function became more aesthetic in nature. The number of corbels is a criterion for assessing a building. The more corbels, the better the building. According to modern mechanics, this type of building should be unstable. But the Hall of Supreme Harmony has stood for over 300 years. During an earthquake, the hall will shake like a spring and retain its original shape. The virtue of the tenon mortis joint is that the two parts fit snugly, yet leave room for adjustment. There is room for adjustment in the joints as well as in the mind.
The corbels join the beams and pillars in Chinese buildings and are also a part of the physics, psychology, and philosophy of Chinese architecture.